Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some exciting new details about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga that I, I'm so happy to hear about. And uh, today's video, we're gonna go ahead and jump into new details. We've got capital ship boarding. We've got unique encounters and dogfights. Choosing your own side in the open world of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Tons of new characters and much more as we get into this video. But before we get into today's video and the news, I want to remind you guys that this is going to be your best place to get all of the new Star Wars gaming news, whether it's rumors, leaks, or official news sources like this one today. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as I would greatly appreciate it. And with that, let's get straight into the video. So this news is coming to me from the, game, uh, from the Star Wars leaks subreddit. I saw a post that linked me to an official article from the PlayStation official magazine UK. Uh, with an interview with one of the TT Games developers talking about the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga upcoming game that's going to be released in the next couple of months. And we get a lot of new exciting details in this article. Now, I'll, of course, link this article in the description below and I might post an image of it here in the video. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try and read from the article the exciting new details that we got. And first thing I'm going to start with is confirmation of we get to play the game the way we want to. So the developers responded that you can start the game wherever you'd like, whether you want to choose to start at Rise of Skywalker or you can uh, start straight at the Clone Wars. Now, I don't know if th this developer meant like episode two or three. I don't know if they're actually going to put the Clone Wars like stuff from the TV show in the game. I don't think that's going to happen, but um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens when the game releases. But that's good news that we get to start and play the game where we want. I'm pretty sure you get to do that in the complete saga. So that's great to news. Great to hear that they're doing that here as well. So the next piece of news that we get from this interview is discussing random encounters. And the developer says that our random encounters take place in the space sections of our open world. Each planet has its own local space where various events take place, such as quests, which have ventured off world. But these open spaces also gave us opportunity to explore the spaceship combat that serves in many of the most memorable Star Wars scenes. So for example, when you are flying around Tatooine, you might enter a contested area and find a dogfight taking place where rebel soldiers are locked in a battle with the Empire, and you can pick the side you help. One of our, one of our biggest new space features is also a part of the random encounter system, the capital ships. If the player is intercepted by a capital ship, they can fight to disable the huge ships and then board them. What an amazing, awesome gameplay feature that is. That's like straight out of Battlefront 2, you know, the classic one where you got to actually fight a capital ship, disable its subsystems, and then you got to board it. Now, I don't know if this means we actually get to like take over the capital ships or maybe we just get to destroy them and then you just get out and maybe you get some cool like studs and stuff like that or maybe there's collectibles of some kind. But that's really exciting that you get to board a capital ship in a Lego game and it, it's open world and you get to destroy the subsystems and then board it. That's just really cool. I know that they did this in the Lego Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars game. Uh, Lego Star Wars 3, you got to board like the Separatist Dreadnought and the Republic uh, Venator. That was really cool. So the fact that they're going to do that with like all of these capital ships from all the areas of Star Wars just really has me excited. And I hope we can board like every capital ship, you know, in the Star Wars eras and canon. Like you can board a Venator or you can board a MC-85 or an MC-75 or whichever ship they use for the Rebellion. A Star Destroyer, a First Order Star Destroyer or the, um, the New Republic's... Uh, the Radis, I believe that's what it was called. But that's just really great news to hear uh, about random encounters and capital ship boarding. Now, moving on, the interviewer asked the developer how many explorable moons and planets are there, to which we get a great answer that there are 23 planets slash moons with 28 locations that the player can visit, each full of quests, challenges, items, and characters to find. If you have a favorite Star Wars location, it's pretty likely you can visit it in-game. Each of these planets also features a local space where you can take advantage of the many ships you can unlock to get in dogfights and defeat capital ships, which, when boarded, reveal even more areas to explore. So, wow, okay, yeah, that uh, that basically confirms that the capital ship interiors are going to be very, very large. Um, basically, this is going to give us what we wanted in Battlefront, uh, you know, the Battlefront games, which is, I find hilarious that a LEGO game is, is able to, you know, do better than the Battlefront series right now, but, um... Yeah, I'm rooting for this Lego game. I'm, I'm really excited for it to come out in the next couple of months. I think it'll come out sometime, you know, 
early summer maybe i don't think it's going to be delayed till fall i really don't but uh i want to hear from you guys what you guys think about this this seems really exciting and we still have more news to cover in this article so i'm going to jump straight back into it so when asked by the interviewer about the number of characters in the game the developer responds saying there's around 300 playable characters for this game but altogether about 800 unique characters were made our character team did a truly amazing job and my favorite would have to be Yaddle. <laughs> There's just something I love about her and I can't put my finger on. Or maybe the Wampa, who is just adorable. I think fans of the new trilogy would be pleased to hear that Babu Frick is making an appearance and is a playable character. And he is possibly one of the cutest things I've ever seen. So there you have it. 300 playable characters with 800 characters made. I don't know if 800 characters, like, I don't think they're, they're going to sell us 500 characters in DLC. I know there's DLC for this game coming, but um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how many characters we get from the DLC packs. Hopefully it's... You know, we don't have to pay to get a lot of the cool characters that we want to play as, but uh, hopefully, hopefully the DLC is, you know, respectful to the fans and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But I want to hear from you guys because this news to me, capital shipboarding, you have space battles, random encounters, the ability to choose who you fight for. That Like, that's so cool. Like, you get to choose if you want to help the Rebellion or the Empire and uh, in these random encounters. I find that really interesting that you can basically choose your own destiny in this open world Star Wars game. This is really like an open world Star Wars game when you think about it. But um, I wonder if there's going to be like a main hub section or if it's just going to be to get to like start a mission. Like if you wanted to start like Attack of the Clones, you'd have to travel to Coruscant, right? Because that's where the beginning of the movie takes place. You got the Padme's ship gets attacked by the by Jango Fett or the bounty hunters and uh. I, I wonder how that's going to work. I'm excited to see that. Uh, the article also mentions that there's going to be new, like, gun features. So there's, like, aiming down sights, and there's apparently new ways to, uh, you know, there's new combat methods, which is nice, because I remember the Force Awakens LEGO game. It had, like, this weird, like, cover system that I wasn't a fan of, but it, it was just kind of, like, it was kind of weird, you know? So, but, but this is looking a lot more promising, and I'm very excited about making more videos on this game. I really wanted to, I normally, you know, I haven't covered this game on this channel yet, but I saw the capital ship boarding and I got really, really hyped. So that's why I'm making this video. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to cover more stuff from this game and uh, what are you guys excited for with this game? And uh, I'll be sure to check out your comments and respond to them when I can. And with that, guys, I want to thank you so much for the support on the channel. Like I said, if you're new, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. I am the Senate.